hand out. <laughs> the wedding ring is a symbol of love and of fidelity. It, it's much more than just a piece of jewelry. It has significant meaning and reflects your commitment and your love. It's a symbol of unity, and it is a symbol of eternity. And these rings will serve as a physical sign of the vows and of the love that you've openly stated before God and before this audience. And these are token rings of your faithfulness and of your love for each other. It's a circle of beauty. It should be noted that everything of importance that happens in this world happens in a cycle or a circle. Earth is round, the sun is round, birds even build their nests in a circle. But these rings are not a boundary to confine you. There's something to be worn proudly to show your respect, your love for each other, your commitment. And these rings will be a lasting symbol of today's ceremony. And after you've departed this earth, these youngsters will hold the rings in the palm of their hand and say that they belong to Lisa and to Phil. So, these rings will truly become a family heirloom. Philip, you take your bride's ring, place it on the third finger of her left hand. I would ask that you look into her eyes and please repeat after me. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. With this ring, With this ring I commit my love to you. I commit my love to you. With this ring, With this ring, I commit to you for marriage. I commit to you for marriage. This ring seals the vows. This ring seals the vows. And the promises. And the promises. I made to you. I made to you. Let this ring remind you. Let this ring remind you that I'm always with you. That I'm always with you. And always by your side. And always by your side. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. So should my love for you never end. So should my love for you never end. Each time you look at this ring. Each time you look at this ring. Be reminded of my love for you. Be reminded of my love for you. You may place the ring on your finger. Now, Lisa, you take Philip's ring, place it on the third finger of his shaking hand. <laughs> I would ask that you look into his eyes and please repeat after me. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. With this ring, With this ring I, commit my love to you. I commit my love to you. With this ring, With this ring I, commit to you for marriage. I commit to you for marriage. This ring seals the vows, this ring seals the vows. And, the promises and the promises I made to you. I made to you. Let this ring remind you that I'm always with you and always by your side. As a ring has no end, so shall my love for you never end. When you look at this ring, be reminded of my love for you. You may place the ring on his finger. Now face me, and I would ask each of us in this audience to stop and pause and meditate and pray for the future of this beautiful couple. O oh, eternal God, ever-living God, giver of life, giver of all spiritual grace, and giver of lasting life, send your blessings upon this couple and bless them as they live in faithfully together. May keep the vows and the covenant between them made. And where these rings have been given and the pledge has been made, we ask, O oh Lord, that they remain in perfect love and live in peace according to your laws. And the Lord bless these rings in which we bless in your holy name. Grant those who wear them may always have a deep faith in each other. And may these rings remind them of their love and of their commitment. And Father, we commit this couple to you now in solemn dedication. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. Amen. And now may the kindness of God forevermore bless this marriage, and so it is. And Alisa, will you stand here? And Philip, will you stand here? Philip and Lisa have committed to a very special ritual and the most holy of rituals that we are aware of. This is the mixing and blending of the sand. This was begun in this country or in this world, one of our very few people in this world. We do know it was started in this country by the Cochiti Indians out in, near Santa Fe, New Mexico, long before America was discovered. The sand is considered holy, and each of the containers represents everything of this in, these individuals. This is a permanent relationship, symbolized through the mixing of the separate containers into one. We have two bodies, we have two spirits, we have two hearts, two personalities, now blended in one faith, one hope, and one love. They will be one in name and one in aim. The sand, like your marriage, is blended into one identity. Your minds and your hearts are, will be merged into a single unit. And by the way, unit does not mean one. Unit means more than one mixed together. The colors are going to remain the same because you will retain some of your individual personality. 
and your individual identity, but you're blended together to become one. So pick up your container of sand, remove the cork, and hold it close to your heart. Let your thoughts, your love, be with these grains of sand. Now, Philip and Lisa have again professed their belief in Christ and our Creator, and they have given me the honor to pour the foundation as they have announced that God will be the foundation of their love forevermore. As you pour your own sand into one container, you're to know that the individual containers of sand will no longer exist. You're joined together to become one. The mixing of the two individual containers represents the permanency of you being joined together. The sand can never be returned. It can never go back. It's like pouring a cup of water onto the ground. 